everyone agreed, and I want to entitle this vlog so much more than I did here. The reason I use the term I did here is because I want to accomplish those that have Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, due to the fact that we have pretty much the same treatment procedures and we're pretty much on the same medication. And I feel that more Crohn's and someone with ulcerative colitis can relate to each other a lot more so than any other chronic illness in the spectrum. And with that being said, I just wanted to purpose this video basically to say that, you know, even though we're sick, you know, we shouldn't be labeled as that, you know. Many people in my life, you know, they're always like, oh, you know, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And people only ask you that when they know that you're sick, you know. And I feel like when people ask you that question, how are you feeling? You know, you just want to say, I'm fine, and just like, you know, leave it like that, you know. Because, like, by them keep asking the same questions, it's when you the fact that you are sick and you're just trying to deal with it yourself. And I feel like sometimes that people don't allow us to deal with it because they keep reinforcing the stereotype that we are sick, you know. And it's like we're trying to rise above it and you keep putting us down, you know. I, that's how I feel. I don't know about the rest of you, but sometimes I just get, like, aggravated, you know. Like, you know, people like us are supposed to be always in positive type of situation, but. You know, I'd be lying to say if I wasn't, you know, down and out sometimes, you know. But that's besides the point. The purpose of this video is to basically, like, tell you guys, like, you know, how I see myself as like, more than a sick person and how other people probably perceive me or, you know, other people outside the chronic illness community. I should be more specific and say that, you know, because, you know, all of you, we know that we're more so than I believe to other people that, you know, we say, oh, we're sick, you know, they automatically put in that name, you know, and we have to make them see that, no, we're not just sick people, we're human too, you know, and, uh, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I like to, you know, write poetry, I sing, but I'm a normal person, besides the fact that I do have a chronic illness, you know, I'd love to hear from some of you and what, you know, you guys, are uh, like, you know, outside of, you know, writing about Crohn's and colitis, you know. I like to hear what other people, you know, hobbies and um, career goals, maybe. You know, some of you I know are still in high school, but, you know, if you're looking ahead to college, you know, I want to know, like, you know, what your plans are. You know, me, I'm, I was fortunate enough to graduate college this semester, and, you know, it was nice, you know. I accomplished a lifelong dream of mine. And, I'm very, I consider myself very fortunate to know a lot of people in the chronic illness community. They don't get that chance, or, you know, they get sick and they have to drop the semester. It's like, I almost have to do that myself, you know. But I just told the doctors, like, I'm not doing that, and I just, like, pushed through it, you know. Because I was, like, very sick, you know. But, I mean, I just wanted to be, like, a motivation for other people that are in, that are in my position that you know, I've gone to college with 20 years or else they're playing it and feel like I can't make it. I just want you guys to tell you that you guys can make it. It is possible. You can work around it. You know, I took a lot of online classes or uh, hybrid classes where, like, more so probably hybrid classes for myself because, honestly, I wasn't a fan of the online classes. But I took a lot of hybrid classes to create the means that you're in school half the time and you're you know, doing online thing the other half, so that way you have the one-on-one -on -one interaction as well as the, your schedule is, like, lightened up, you know, so that way you don't have to have so much stress in your life in school. So, um, that's, like, the school aspect of me, you know, my personal, of like, that's the thing that I like to love poetry, and I love to vlog. That's become one of my new passions in life, and I'm going to stick with that. Um, I have to spread the word about IVD, and I know a lot of you on here do too. So, um, I just want to know, like, you know, what your passions and goals are in life, and, um, I'd love to hear from all of you. Thanks for watching.